Triple H, bring back Braun freaking Strowman. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to another episode of Wrestle Capsule, where you're going to be getting your weekly dose of pro wrestling talk. And I'm your host, B. So welcome back to the show. Today, we are going to be talking about last night, Monday Night Raw. <sighs> I've said this before, and you're just going to hear it again today. Um, I look forward to every Monday and Friday, Raw and SmackDown, because we do not know who is going to be coming back to the WWE. And last night did not disappoint. But before I get into that, let's just talk about some of the stuff that happened last night on Raw. So after getting off the high of Clash at the Castle, Especially with the whole situation with the Mysterios and Edge and Judgment Day. I was hoping that they were going to address this whole situation yesterday. And sure enough, they did. So Raw opens with Edge. And yes, he is a veteran and he's great in the ring. But he is such an amazing actor. Seriously, like he tells such a story. And... He was basically talking about how, like, basically he was betrayed at Clash at the Castle and he never saw Dominic as a threat only because of how close he is to Rey Mysterio and how the Mysterio family was always seen to him as his own family. Like, they, they've, they've known each other for years and for Dom to do that to Edge is such a, just, it's such a letdown, such a betrayal. But even with him saying that, he's like, well... Dominic, if you're old enough to compete, you old enough to get the consequences of what happened on Clash of the Castle. And for me, I translated that to, if you old enough to throw hands, you old enough to get your A whipped. So with <laughs> that said, he was basically like, you need to own up to what you did on Saturday at Clash at the Castle. And of course, Rey Mysterio comes out <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm going to apologize for him. Like, come on, please, like pleading with him. You know what I'm saying? But Rhea Ripley comes out, repping my Rhea Ripley t-shirt. And she's just, there's a wound there and she's just throwing salt in the wound and talking about how Dominic got a new poppy and all this. Like, of course, she's like... <laughs> She comes out at the worst times and then Dominic Mysterio comes out and he looks different. He's wearing all black. His hair slicked back. He got this evil look on his face and I'm like, oh, okay. He's, 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 he's morphed and transformed into his heel self and it was, it was believable. Like even in, I was waiting, I was waiting for like a slip up. I was waiting for like a grin or something like that. He did grin at one point, but that was only because of his father and Edge getting beat up. That's the only time that he cracked a slight grin, a slight smile. But with all four of them standing together, Finn Balor, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, and Rhea Ripley, they looked like a full unit. Like I'm wondering who else, if anybody else is going to be being added to Judgment Day because it's freaking growing. I'm wondering how long this whole Dominic heel thing is going to last. Like, is there, I'm, I'm really wondering because I know that Dominic and Edge are going to have a match. And I am so, <laughs> I'm curious to see how that's going to go because it's Edge and I, <laughs> I want to know. I'm not trying to talk smack about Dominic, but um, he's not on edge status. He's not even close to edge status. So he better get some tips and tricks from <laughs> Finn and Damien. <laughs> I don't know. But overall, this segment was so good and so layered. So I could talk about the fatal four-way tag team match between, you know, Alpha Academy, New Day, 
Humberto and Angel and the Street Profits. I could talk about that. Or I could talk about who interfered in the match. When I heard Ron Strowman's music, dun, 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 I was, oh, no, y'all didn't. No, you didn't. Triple H, bring back Ron freaking Strowman. Oh my gosh. I was so excited. I feel like I, I jumped up from my chair when I heard the music and I saw him come out and he's wearing his red tights and he's all muscled up and he's just bald and he just looks so, like, he, I'm telling you, like, it's crazy because he left WWE and he got super ripped. Su -hoo 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 ripped. He looks like he's in great shape. So I, oh my gosh, I was so happy to see him. And I cannot wait to see who else is going to be coming back to WWE. Like when I tell you, I think that he should have never been released. He should have never been released because he was on a freaking roll. And sure enough, he came out and he got in the ring with Chad Gable. That man, did, that little man didn't stand no chance against Strowman. And then freaking security guards had a nerve to come out to try to stop Strowman. And they got thrown around like little Nerf balls. Like <laughs> it, was, it was nothing to him. So that, uh, we getting prizes every single week. Since the monster of all men practically ruined that fatal four-way tag team match, that actually needs to happen again because we need to find out who is going to be the tag team that's the number one contender to challenge the Usos for the undisputed tag team championships. So <laughs> that still needs to happen, but that was dope to see Braun Strowman come out. And that was such an interesting way for him to come out. Like of all times to come out, he comes up during a tag team match, like make it make sense. With the tag team match, Raquel Rodriguez, the, the new women's tag team champions, Raquel Rodriguez and Aaliyah versus Dewdrop and Nikki A.S.H. I feel bad for Dewdrop and Nikki A.S.H. because they just, they went to Worlds Collide and had their match with Katana Chance and Kaden Carter for the NXT <laughs> Women's Tag Team Championships and lost that match. And then, all raw, <laughs> they have a match with the champions and they lose that match. I'm like, what? Is, I get it. I get it. We are trying to build Raquel Rodriguez and Aaliyah as the new tag, the women's tag team champions. I understand that, but that sucks. <laughs> that sucks for <laughs> Dewdrop and Nikki A.S.H. Like, I'm wondering what WWE is going to do with those two. Like, they're starting to grow on me as a tag team, but I like them better as single competitors. Quite honestly, I want Nikki A.S.H. to stop with the ash. Stop with the superhero junk. I said this in one of my other videos, y'all. Like, that needs to cease and desist. And she needs to go back to Nikki Cross. She was shaking her hair. Her hair was always wet. Shaking her hair. Screaming. Yelling at people. Like, I miss when she was crazy. <laughs> when she was in that. I think she was in that, uh, that group Sanity. Like, I missed when she was Nikki Cross. Like, that was that was the business. And Dewdrop needs to stop being Dewdrop. I hate that name. I've hated it ever since she was with Eva Marie and they were in a group. Like, I hate it. She needs to go back. I think her name was Piper, Piper, Piper Niven. I, I need that to come back too. I didn't even get to enjoy that because I remember she was in NXT UK. I didn't even get to enjoy that. Hashtag bring them back. One of the highlights of this raw was the whole segment with Austin Theory and Kevin Owens. So <laughs> Austin Theory comes out cocky as ever with his Money in the Bank briefcase. And he's basically talking about how even though he failed at, at Clash at the Castle, he's still going to win that title. And it's funny because he was, I could notice, and everyone else noticed, he was like tripping over his words and stuff. Kind of <laughs> fix it. And cause like he was like holding his, his jaw because Tyson Fury popped the freak out of him when he was trying to cash in his money in the bank briefcase at Clash at the Castle. And he just rocked his soul. 
<laughs> so he kept like holding his his jaw. So every like I think it was like two or three times that he messed up. When he messed up, he was like ah, <laughs> like he was just like he was trying to like <laughs> lean on his injury or whatever. So just like okay, okay. But then Kevin Owens wasn't hearing it, and he came out because at one point Austin Theory called the pay-per-view he said crown jewel instead of clash at the castle and it's funny because when <laughs> kevin owens came out he was like it's clash at the castle by the way <laughs> and i'm just like i love when wrestlers like they have their promo and if they mess up and they kind of have like a back and forth between two wrestlers or whatever how the segment's going when the other person acknowledges the mistake i feel like that's a lot better than pretending it didn't happen because us wrestling fans, we're not stupid. We heard that. That was a mess up. So when they acknowledge it, it makes it seem like it's within the storyline. Like that person meant to make that mistake. Of course, Kevin Owens ain't trying to hear theory and call him just like he's just cocky. And they just kept going back and forth within that segment. They ended up having their match. And of course, Kevin Owens won because... When you're that cocky, Kevin Owens is the perfect candidate to knock Theory down a few pegs. Oh, and I freaking love when Kevin Owens said that WWE finally gave Theory back his first name, so now he's Austin Theory. <laughs> so real quick, I want to talk about the short segment. It was Damage Control. By the way, I love their name and I love their music. Like, yes, this is a freaking stable, y'all. Like a full on stable. Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Eo Sky. I'm here for it. And they came out and I didn't even remember that that like Dakota was the legal competitor and she wasn't pinned. So that's bringing up the whole thing that um is Raquel Rodriguez and Aaliyah's championship reign legit. Like because that was not called right. So I'm wondering if there's gonna be a rematch. I don't know how that's gonna work out or they're just gonna let that just slide. And then Bailey was talking about how she pinned Bianca Belair at Clash at the Castle and she was just gloating. Bailey was doing her normal gloat and Bianca Belair comes out and <laughs> she's like, yeah, you beat me. Okay, whoop de doo you still don't have this title. Like basically you not important and Bianca was like, we can go, we can fight if you want to. Bailey said, oh, the reason why Bailey would not fight Bianca Belair last night is because she does not work on Labor Day. Even though, <laughs> even though she's on Monday Night Raw, cutting a promo, working. She doesn't wrestle on Labor Day. Like that, that's her day off. <laughs> But yeah, Damian Priest and Rey Mysterio have their match because Rey is over this whole situation with his son turning heel and Judgment Day. Like they just won't leave his family alone. So he basically had an open challenge of, I don't care who it is within Judgment Day, we gonna fight tonight. <laughs> and sadly, Rey Mysterio did not win. Damian Priest took the win on that one. Dominic was there, Rhea Ripley was there, Finn Balor was there all on the side watching this match happen. And I'm telling you, like I could, like I was looking at Dominic, but there's times where I just had to look away because he was just like creeping me out. Like he's doing a really good job of looking bad. And then he actually helped Damian Priest avoid the 619 so that Damian could hit the South of Heaven and pin his dad for the one, two, three. And I'm like, you don't, you, you douchebag. You will turn your back on your family. You ain't right. You ain't right. You ain't right. I just have to say, even though I am over Roman Reigns having both of those belts, I see it as, I know this might sound weird, but it's, I see it as a blessing in disguise because he's a, he's a part-timer <laughs> right now. Let's just face the facts. Roman Reigns is a part-timer, okay? Which means we don't always see those belts, he might be on Raw, or he might be on SmackDown, or you might not just see him. You just might not see him. But because of that, it's allowing the other belts to shine, like the Intercontinental Championship and the United States Championship. So I'm trying to see the silver lining of this whole thing, but I just can't wait until someone gets one belt and someone else gets the other belt. But yeah, 
main event was for the United States Championship between champion Bobby Lashley versus The Miz in a steel cage because <laughs> he's traumatized. And it's what's funny to me is the fact that the last match that he had with Bobby Lashley, it was he the Dexter Loomis was not like in his face. Like he was all the way like deep in the crowd and he saw him and he got freaked out. So I don't know what the steel was steel cage was gonna do for him, but I mean, based off what we saw last night, it didn't really do much. Overall the match was really good. What was funny was when the Miz was trying to climb out of the cage and he's at the top and he's about to go down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to put this picture up because this picture just has a thousand words. When he got up on the top of that cage and he looked down and his eyeballs widened because he saw Dexter Loomis popping out from underneath the ring. <laughs> was, <laughs> I had to crack up. It was so freaking funny because I, I knew it was going to show up. I just didn't know how he was going to show up. And he did, this guy, I need to know why he has it out for The Miz so much. If this is gonna lead up to a mixed tag team match, I'm so here for it. So The Miz and Maurice versus Indy Hartwell and Dexter Loomis, I would be for it. I don't care if I'm the only one that would be for it, but I would definitely be for it. Bobby Lashley retained the United States Championship and Dexter Loomis once again got his hands on The Miz and was choking him out, <laughs> choking him out in the ring and as the miss was fading, Dexter was like, <laughs> Dexter was like petting him like, Shh, he is so dang creepy. Guys, let me know in the comments below who you think else is coming back. Like on SmackDown, do you think there's gonna be someone else coming back from the woodworks on SmackDown? Let me know. And guys, let me know what you thought about last night, Monday Night Raw in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes. They're gonna keep coming at you. Thank you so much for watching. Signing off, bye.